Oh my god, he's still talking about tech armor. I, I want to hear this conversation. No, pretty much all the time. Surrounded by husks, tech armor. Rack nice swarmers jumping at me. Oh, that makes sense. Husks, the swarmers are hard to hit. Nah, I overload their shields, move in real close, and then. I like this conversation. All right. right down. Samantha. I want to hear more about this uh, Terrian Sentinel here. There she is. Oh, she's doing strategy games. Does this have enough explosions for you? Oh, she's going up against a Solarian, and she's not, like... She can do it. I believe in her. Oh, jeez. How did you win that? Brilliant engine. Excellent use of the Daylucine gamut. Is this space chess? No. It's called Cape Eshiakshi, Blade of the Nightwinds. The Asari have played it since we were supposed to meet for lunch. That's fine. I'm so sorry. I entered the tournament on a lark. I, I, I thought I'd be eliminated in the first few rounds. No, no. Win, and then you can pay for it. Don't worry. You'll be free to join your friend in 20 moves or fewer. Take her down. Oh, what is this dramatic suit? Trainer, would you like to just give me your frigates now? I always take them sooner or later. Oh my god, we got a rivalry. Polgara to Sousa. She's knocked me out of four tournaments. You can do it. That was before you helped manage intel for a galactic war. You're right. I've gotten a lot better since I came to the Normandy. I believe in you. Here's a frigate, by the way. So try not to lose it. In fact, win with it. Roger that. Do it. Take her down. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm so hyped for like almost no reason, but it's great. Ah. Oh, damn it. Ah. Calm it down. So much more frigate. Neural feedback. It disincentivizes sacrificing pieces casually. Okay. Looks like she's losing, but I believe in her. Four centuries, trainer, and you might be a challenge. You must not have that much time to practice now living on that war. Come on. My people have more respect for the great thinkers. I'm able to live quite comfortably teaching Asari Maidens tactics and strategy through this game. You know she's fighting the war, right? So, your job is playing games? Ooh! Mentoring students in strategic and tactical simulations. Yes. Specialist trainer here helped us take down Cerberus. We're preparing our final assault thanks to her efforts. I'm sure she's a wonderful serviceman, but she just lost her last frigate. Ah! Traded her last frigate, actually, for your homeworld. Just going in. Yes. Oh, wow, that is some intense neural feedback. Thanks, Commander. And I apologize again for missing you. Just use your winnings to pay. All for a good cause, trainer. Carry on. That was pretty great. I enjoyed that a lot. That was fun. Kinda wish I could play. Alright, you got anything else to say? Warp field and weaken its armor. Let it close, then tech armor. Phantom? Overload her barriers, fire a bit if she pulls up that defensive biotic thing. Then tech armor. Yeah. Get right in there close enough. And the tech armor even takes out their drones. Oh. I'm learning tech. Armor. Who said that? What game is this? Shattered Ezo. Is it a fighting game? Aria, Jordan, Shifty Cow! Alright, so I didn't encounter the Shifty Cow in my playthrough, but I learned about it later. I forget which planet it's on, but there is a alien cow that will steal your credits from a... Uh, like, it'll follow you and just steal your... It'll siphon credits out of your pocket. And that's the Shifty Cow. Oh, man. 
Barla Vaughn, uh, James, and Karote. Shadow Izo, how to play. Punch your opponent to lower the health meter and earn points. Survive as many opponents as possible while earning points. Block incoming jabs to prevent damage. Charge up a punch to break through blocks. Jab to interrupt an opponent that is charging him. This is rock, paper, scissors. Jabbing when an opponent is blocking reduces your score. Consecutive jabs increase damage. Earn a prize for achieving high score. Left click to punch. Hold left mouse to uh, charge and then right to block. All right, let's see. I hit you first. Hey, you can do better than that. Don't stop now. All right. Hey, Keep going. You're doing great. I have no idea what I'm doing. Take him down. This guy's not blocking. You're doing great. I don't know what my life is, but I'm I'm breaking him. Nice there we go. Knock him out. Nice Keep going. Ha! <laughs> I'm winning. This game's weird. Don't stop now. Oh, he stopped blocking at the last second. You're doing great. So this is less of a fighting game, more of a tactical auto clicker, <laughs> I think. There we go. Oh, he stopped blocking. What? When was the last auto save? I can't believe it just crashed. That's totally new. It couldn't handle my high score. Uh. Hey, hang on a second. This game is cursed. But at the same time, for once, it, uh. It wasn't OBS that crashed. But I'm not playing that again, because that is hyper-cursed. The game actually crashed. That's nuts. Oh my god. Are you for real right now? Towers of Hanoi. I don't think so. <laughs> so, back in Mass Effect 1, there was the one super extra puzzle that you had to do while you were on um, Novaria to fix the whole thing. Right? I didn't know, actually, what the Towers of Hanoi was at the time. I've never played Towers of Hanoi. After that, and after watching, like, other people play the game and, like, reading comments, I now know what the Towers of Hanoi are. Apparently, Bioware really likes putting them in the games. I'm, uh, talking. I can't believe they put this here just to be like, yeah, no, everyone hated it, we know. <laughs> oh, man. Towers of Hanoi, I don't think so. Now that I under- like, again, because I didn't know what the Towers of Hanoi were, I- I, I wouldn't say I struggled, but I didn't, you know, solve it very quickly. And I didn't really get the rules. Now that I know what the Towers of Hanoi are, I think I'll have a much easier time, like, solving any puzzles. Because, again, not knowing what the, it was, I didn't know what to solve. But that's really funny. Oh, I'm back here. I guess I can't mingle anymore. Again, my bad. That's it. I feel like there, there are supposed to be people here, right? Someone mentioned they'd be waiting in Silver Coast? Is it Garrus? Is he over at the bar? 
Suspicious device. What are you doing here? Senate. Oh, hey! Tiana, distract the bouncer. Kasumi, what are you doing? You take the vault. You gonna rob the casino? They trigger the lockdown. You'll hit motion sensors, and that'll alert security. Burke, steal a uniform. You go in as security, fake the arrest. For the record, I lost all the things I, uh... I seem to have the wrong casino. Got from the claw machine. Take a walk, guys. Because it, it loaded me back at the, uh, arena. After I had won. So, at least I didn't waste the money. Uh, that's fine. That's fine. This is what you do. I believe I hired you because you were the best damn thief in the galaxy. Sweet talker. I try. Are you hard up for credits, or is this just to stay in practice? People who can't get to the Citadel are having a rough time out there. Oh my god. This place has more money than it knows what to do with. It helps those refugees survive. Are you helping them hit the jackpot? Or are you just breaking things? And it's not like the owner can spend it if the Reapers win. This is true. So you're robbing the rich to help the poor? I'm doing what I do. Raiding Cerberus bases and infiltrating Reaper held locations is fun. But I'm a thief. Stealing? It's who I am. Without it, I. By the way, are you gonna call security? Nah, I could care less, honestly. Just go have fun. Just don't get caught, okay? Hey, come on. I never get caught. That's true. Come on, guys. Show's on. I mean, I caught you. That's because I know who you are. Excuse me. Is there a problem? Not at all. No. No problem at all. Good to see she's around. That's fun. Had a moment, Kasumi. I don't know what the suspicious device was because it didn't do anything with the conversation, but you know, it was there. I still don't know what this thing is. Uh, let's head upstairs then. Wait for Garrus. An option. Anybody over here? Oh, hey. Give me something. Party supplies. Just party supplies, huh? I'll take it. Stuck. Alright, I guess I'll wait for Garrus. Where'd the prompt go? You do that. Garrus, let's hang out. Have a drink. Kind of surprised it didn't autosave after the, uh, after these little things. Oh, that is a female Tarion. You're almost never in casual wear, dude. Shepard. So what do Turians usually do with their time off? Mostly we make plans for what to do when we're back at work. Oh. I have some ideas on the Normandy's forward cannon. Garrus, stop talking about work. You know what you need, Garrus? That Mark IV silencer scope I saw at the gun shop? Garrus. I was thinking a date. Excuse me. I saw you checking out my friend here. I thought you two should meet. Hello? Right. So, um... Hmm. Hello. Garrus, you didn't even take off the visor, huh? And... Hmm. Oh, you're so awkward. Oh, Garrus. Why... Why do I feel like I can relate to that way more than I can to Shepard? You seem like a nice person. Maybe Garrus. Quiet. Oh my god, Garrus. But decent. You damn nerd. Oh. Thank you. I think. Garrus, please. Try small talk. Come here often. I imagine anyone who does is probably an alcoholic. Oh my god, Garrus. Actually, I do. I work at the Turian Embassy. Come here to unwind. Yeah. Well, listen, I've got this thing I forgot I had to do. Garrus, I need to be your wingman I so bad right now. Do it. Let's go. Sorry. 
Let's start over again. What I've been trying to say is my name's Garrus and I'd love to have a drink with you. There we go, dude. Ah, oh, Garrus, man. That was... I know you're Garrus, but come on, dude. That was stressful for me. <laughs> let's, let's throw on a safety save. Oh my god. What would I do without you? What would you do without me? We need each other, Garrus. We would literally die. Alright. I don't want to deal with a live Varen race. It's over here. So who's this patriarch person? The patriarch! What? You never heard of mighty patriarch? Yes! No. Oh, fine. Oh, this is the exit. Now we're up here. Alright, was there anything... Anyone else? No problem. You're out there risking your life on the front lines. These are multiplayer characters. Expedite your procurement request. So let's see. Here we go. Rizzy Susan, N7 Biotic Specialist, graduate of Specialized Fury Training in Rio de Janeiro. Yes, that's me. I've been waiting for some upgrades. This could really be a lifesaver. That's what Alliance Procurement is here for. Cool. Uh, oh, this is the Armex Arena again. Yeah, it is. Alright, uh, let's head back, I guess. To Tiberius Towers, was it? See if I can call in some people to help. Or not help, but hang out with. Where do I call people, Glyph? Send invitation. I also received a new message. Where, where was the send invitation thing? Oh, here. Nope. At my computer? Aha. Invite up. Ah, here we go. That's where that is. Oh, it's really easy. Uh, let me look at my emails first. What? Send invitations, invite up. Oh, this is for the to start the party, I think. And this is to talk to individuals. Combat sim. Oh, from Jack! I hear the Silver Sun Strip Place has a combat simulator and feel like kicking the crap out of something. Get your ass down here if you're game. I'll go back in a bit. Everyone, Edie, Shepard, as part of my education, I think it would be appropriate if you and I participate in the rituals found in all human cultures. Reply, and we can meet at the new apartment. Alright. Well, uh, let me go in order here, starting from Tally. Let's have some time, Tally. Hey, got any plans for the evening? No. I'm as free as the dust in the solar wind. All right. Poetic, are we? You remember that line? From Fleet and Flotilla? Oh. Shall I and Bellicus on the balcony? I don't think I've ever seen it. I don't think I've ever seen that. Oh my god. Did. What? Word for word. You've never? How could you not have? Well, I know what we're doing tonight. <laughs> All right, Netflix and chill. How often do you quote this movie? You watch this a lot? With the lovers from two different worlds? Every time my friends and I had a sleepover, we memorized the lyrics from the musical. There's even a musical? We can activate sing-along mode. Oh my god, Tally. Let the moon shining light Let her lovers with its rain
That was wonderful. She's so adorable. I had no idea you were so into this. This vid FTL jumped me into puberty. And who doesn't love a good cross-species romance? I know I do. Works for me. That was perfect. It was adorable. Why are my two my, my best friend and my girlfriend are two huge nerds and I love it. Love them. Alright, Miranda's next. Let's hang out. Hey, how you doing? Good to see you. How do you like the place? Not a part of town I'd normally associate you with, Shepard. I like it. I mean, I didn't scope it out and buy it. Or fix me something while you're back there, would you? Sure. I've got just the thing. So what brings you back? I was hearing some confusing reports. It sounded like you had lost your mind. No doubt. My communications were hacked, among other things. I'm sure the news had a field day. <laughs> it did. So, a clone? So you know about it. Yeah, saw it myself. Did you know anything about this? Just rumors. Nothing really caught my attention. But about this Brooks... Heard anything? Not as Brooks, but as Hope Lilium. Another lie, certainly. When the Collectors showed up, she put together the dossiers on your crew for the elusive man. She did say that. Never paid her much mind. Interesting. My focus at the time was bringing you back. We needed the real Shepard, not some cheap knockoff. I mean, really. A clone? Yeah, it's what happened. Yes. Hard to imagine. I'm not sure the galaxy could survive two Shepherds. Think of the property damage. Listen. It's not my fault. People like to shoot me. I don't like it myself. Oh, they shut down my favorite sushi place. Please stop. That's a shame. Shepard, you didn't. I didn't. I did. Fell right through the fish tank. It's not my How fault. How did you manage that? It exploded. Hey, it was the clone's plan, not mine. Blowing up a fish tank shouldn't be part of anyone's plan. I get Although that. Executing marine life seems to be some sort of hobby with you. No wonder your clone couldn't resist. What does that mean? The first step in taking over my whole life. We stopped it. My fish are fine, thank you. But why did it want your life? Why would anyone? All that running, jumping, gunfire. It's crazy. Yeah, but I mean, I get to meet all of you. So, you know, it's worth it. I try not to think about it. Probably for the best. <laughs> Trust me. I know all this isn't normal. Speaking of trust, with all this clone business, how do I know you're the real shit? Don't give me an existential crisis. I don't know. You just do. Do I? That's the trouble with clones. You can never be sure. Come on. You rebuilt me from almost nothing. Don't you recognize your own handiwork? It's not as if I carved my initials in the corner. Well, clone or not, I'm the only shepherd left. That we know of. Good point. I guess I'm stuck with you. I do have a crazy life, don't I? That you do, my friend. That you do. That was nice. I should change that couch. Why am I in first? Whoa! I thought that was a loading screen. It was not. I was just in first person for some reason. Alright, let me shuffle through this real quick. So I have my deluxe vanity. Look how much nicer that looks. I still have the standard bedding. Got me a vibrant kitchen. It's the same kitchen, but in red. Why does it leave every time, though? Seating. Standard armchair. Oh, I should get a better armchair, yeah. That said, from the regular sofa to the cozy sofa, cozy's the way to go. Did I get any t tables? No. Wall decos. Uh, standard shelving or artistic shelving? 
Oh, well, I mean, I lose out on the book space, but it looks big. I mean, I bought it, so I'll do it. Uh, I have to buy more. But, let's talk to James. I don't really talk to him too much, because he's only been here for one game, and everyone else has been here for a couple more. James and Javik are the only ones... Oh, I forgot to go find Javik. Hey, loco. Who, uh... Are brand new. Might not look so nice after throwing that party you were talking. We've known everyone else for a while now. You wouldn't trash my new apartment, would you, James? Me? No, never. Not on purpose, right? <whistles> nice view, but this place—it's just so not what I'm used to. I get that. Which is war zones. I grew up on the beach on the Pacific, so, you know, water, sand, real air. Oh, I don't like sand. You miss it? Yeah. Of course, rough. And the Gets everywhere. Yeah, I get that. It's tough being away from home. Yeah. Hey, is it true you and Tally are, uh, you know, together? Yes. Yeah. Why? How do you two... I mean, is she, you know... Under that suit, do Quarians have... Dude, you have access to the extranet. Never mind. I don't really want to know. So did you really come up here to talk about my personal life? Oh, shit. Right. I wanted to show you. Yeah? Oh, that's the tattoo you got. What do you think? It's very you. I'm not sure if it's the best idea, but it's very you. Looks good. You've earned it. Now the real work begins, right? Exactly. And I heard what you said before. And I'm in. Cien por ciento. Glad to hear it. Anyway, that's it. Just wanted to show you that bad boy. I gotta get back to the Normandy. Esteban wants my help working on the shuttle. Thanks for coming by, James. You're a good guy. This is gonna be a perfect place for a fiesta. I gotta. Hasta la vista, Shepherd. I gotta buy more stuff first, but yeah. Or maybe I gotta get stuff out of the claw machine. That'll. That'll be a thing I gotta deal with. No way. What? Oh, the punching bag. <laughs> You've been holding out on me. I mean, it's right there. You can see it from the entrance. All right. I probably want to put gloves on. They'll uh, break open your hands that way. You gotta protect your hands. Come on, let me just use it for a bit. Fine, <clears throat> I'll use the bar. We're just gonna have muscle man bro time. You want some pointers? You know my record is 182. You think you can beat it? We'll see. Oh, this should be good. Oh, I gotta alternate. It's like a real quick time event now. Got a ways to go, my friend. I don't have to keep going till 100, do I? It's gonna trick me at some point. Not yet, though. I'm actually going to keep going. All right, let's go. I'm not going to back down. <clears throat> I don't know what to comment on now, but I'm not going to back down. <clears throat> I should probably take the sweater off. That'd make it a bit easier. <clears throat> or rather, oh yeah, I'll show off and say I can do it with a sweater. Oh, there's the mix-up. <clears throat> let's go, let's go, let's go. Not really, though. When are you going to, like, automate this? I don't even know what number I'm at. No one's counting. I'm at at least like 20 now, right? That's 20. Oh my god. I actually am at 20. I'm gonna beat your score. I'm gonna go to 200, man. Don't, don't taunt. Uh, don't taunt me. I'm gonna do it. We do have to speed it up a little bit, though. Mm. 
keep going. I'm a muscle man. Ah, oh, I see some sweat. I'm in a sweater. It's expected. This is my hoodie of power. Gives me beastly strength. Also, it looks really nice. Also, it says N7 on it. Good stuff, Hefe. Yeah. And keep it going. I'm not gonna be outdone by you. Have you seen what I've been through? There's no way I'm losing to you. With everything else. I had to fight hand to hand against Saren. Forty, nice. Oh, we're only at forty. Come on, faster! You can do it, Shepard. Oh, it's mixing it up now, though. Gotta pay attention. Gotta get it right. Don't screw it up. I'm glad he's counting, because I'm not. Oh, my shepherd's looking a bit... haggard now. I will be pull-up champ. Not bad. Keep it going. Never give up. I can do it. Urgh. I feel like this should boost my melee strength at some point. So like, oh, my my blades and punches just do a lot more now. I think that'd be really cool. <clears throat> Otherwise, bragging rights. Oh yeah. Stop interrupting me. Unless it's every five you're interrupting me. But still, stop it. <clears throat> Keep going. You can't stop me. That's sixty. High five. Shut up. Funny. So, 108 more to go? Not even at the first 100. <laughs> I mean, I'm a third of the way there. Over a third. Alright. 65? 66, I think? Keep it going. Feel the burn. This is still going. Who knows what I have in these pockets weighing me down to? I'd say I have my phone, but we have Omni tools, so probably don't need a phone or keys or what would I keep in my pockets? You know, I could really go for a nice juicy steak. You? Yeah, once I'm done. And when I beat your score, you'll be treating. Because after I win, I'm going to need something. I thought this visit was over. It was not. Landmark should be 80 next. We're still going. I will not give up. Give me all the renegade prompts, though. There's a paragon. Throwing me off. You look like a pro. <laughs> Shut up, Vega. <laughs> touchy, touchy. I think that was the 80 landmark. <laughs> Keep going. I don't know how long I'm going to keep going, but I'm going to keep going. Now, will it cut me off once I beat him, or will I get to keep going even further? Like, I almost don't want there to be extra, like, dialogue or anything at, like, 200, because I don't want to go all the way that far. That's halfway to my record. There we go. Great. Keep it going. I'd say I'm already halfway there. 
Halfway there. Halfway there. Halfway there. Man, I'm getting tired and hungry from this workout. All I'm doing is clicking. Ugh. I'd say give me different angles, but then I get distracted and like miss. One hundred. That's impressive. Sweet. Thanks. Just eighty-two to go. Oh my god. It was one hundred eighty-two. Might as well go to 200 then. Shepard's struggling. But we can do it. We have the power. The strength. The will. Dexterity? The fortitude. The guts. You don't get anywhere without hard work and guts. And we got that in spades. We got that in clubs, hearts, and diamonds, too. Got the full deck. And more. Stay on target. But they're coming too fast! <laughs> Vega, you gotta give me something more to work with. I can't think of anything to talk about. I mean, the other option is to complain about Kai Lang again. Because I figured I spent too much time thinking about Kai Lang and how it would be way better if instead of being Kai Lang, Kai Lang were a rival group. Like, you know, a group of Psycho Rangers. Where he has his own team of like a biotic, an engineer, a soldier. And you fight them off. Like, like at the Arctic Yachi, not Arctic Yachi, the, uh, what? Uh -huh. Yeah. At the Asari Monastery thing. Um, he can have, like, one of them in, in the gunship, maybe? Maybe not the gunship. Just, like, fighting two of them at once, and then, like, his engineer partner could, like, set up the explosives to blow up the place. So it's not the gunship that's a problem. And then he could have, like, a biotic partner, like, granting him shields. Instead of him standing in the middle of the room charging his shields like an idiot. Plus, it'd make them, like, a legitimate challenge because there's more than one. Instead of one dude just being a cocky nice. bastard. I, I just think Kai Lang would work better if Kai Lang were a team and not a single edgelord. And also, he doesn't send me an email about how he's so cool. And how he's gonna defeat me, even though he didn't kill me when he had the chance. I think it just go a long way to make him a more reasonable rival. Like, the thing with Kai Lang is he shows up and is not established as the rival, but set as the rival. And it's like, but is he a rival, though? He sort of just showed up, and that's the role you gave him. And his role is to be cooler than Shepard when he's not. Like, look back at Mass Effect 1 and look at Saren, right? Saren takes out Nihilus, another Spectre, and is established to be a threat who can get away with anything from the beginning. And then you fight him halfway through, and it's like, okay, this dude's tough, this dude's strong. And he's like a challenge. He is a rival through and through, until you fight him in the end. Kai Lang didn't even show up on Mars when we first encountered Cerberus in this game. It would go a long way if he were there, just to establish him, instead of halfway through the game as this random assassin, who fails his job, by the way, because of a cancer patient. <laughs> he doesn't even kill the cancer patient. The, ca the patient dies to cancer after fighting him. So, like, Kai Lang's not impressive, because he's brand new, isn't established, and counts on everyone else on my side to hype him up when he has no way to hype himself up. <clears throat> Kai Lang is just so poorly done. <clears throat> Which is sad because the writing started off Close. so strong in the first game. 
And then by the time you get here, it's it's just it has its high points and it has its low points. There are good highs in three so far, but the lows in three are abysmal. And on one hand, while two is really good with the combat improvements and the general story beats, the problem I have with two is it feels too middle of the story. Like, the collectors are the threat because they're abducting people. And it's like, oh, by the way, they, ha they happen to be related to the Reapers. And you spend the whole game building up a team to do one suicide mission. And it's like, that's an awesome mission, but it's kind of weird that the entire game led up to that. Instead of something, I don't know, bigger? Like, we got more support than when we had to fight against Saren. And Saren was a huge threat. And now, especially in this game, with the Reapers not even on the horizon, they're here, it's harder to build up a team? We only have six party members. Well, seven, I guess, if you count Javik. Holy I did it. hell, you did it. I, I don't know what to say. How you feeling? Tomorrow's going to suck. Might need help pulling on my armor next time. No doubt. But you earned your name today, loco. Damn, you still got it. Don't let anybody tell you different. Don't worry. I won't. Alright, cool. I did it. I even found something to talk about in the end. But yeah, like... I mean, it's summarized up as Kyle and Bad. For plenty of reasons so far. This is high quality stuff. It's a punching bag, dude. Maybe I could, you know, <laughs> come here for my workouts. <clears throat> what do you think? Just, you know, give me a call first. You gonna watch or you gonna join in? <laughs> I love this. <laughs> you get to do this all the time. <laughs> Just let me have some fun. I just got this apartment like last week, dude. You get to do this all the time. All right. <laughs> Just let me have some fun. Have fun. So yeah, I've spent more time than anyone should spend thinking about Kai Lang. Granted, there are people who have spent more time thinking about Kai Lang that shouldn't have, but you know. I have also spent too much time. What did you bring? Shepard. I thought we could experience an afternoon of acquiring material possessions for our associates. You want to buy souvenirs for your friends? I, I guess we could. Did you have a place in mind? Physical proximity is unnecessary. The extranet provides a greater variety of services while retaining entertainment value. I don't know about that. Has lent me his credit chit on the condition that I enjoy myself and quote, live it up like a girly girl. I cannot help with that. You don't have money of your own? I am not formally employed. I have no legal standing in Citadel space. I could turn to crime, but that would look bad on a resume. Yes, it would. We'll get you your own funds sometime. But today, what's first? I believe Jeff would be surprised and pleased if I got him a gift. What would you recommend? What's something you'd both enjoy? Start with something both of you can enjoy. What do you do together? We interact most closely when we are flying. It occurs to me that he does not have a sky car for traveling around the Presidium. Interesting. Here, the 2187 Blackout has a top speed of 650 kilometers per hour. Oh yeah, that one girl was talking about it. He is the most powerful sports sky car in its class. That sounds like it'll get Joker's blood pumping. Five-year warranty? Replacement part? No, wait! I fail to see what is wrong. When you buy someone a present, it's best not to bank. Yeah, don't spend all his money on his own gift. Perhaps for a day or a weekend, then. Who's next? You are. Close your eyes. Oh, oh boy. What are you giving me right now? Um, are we getting married? <laughs> no. There is a jeweler on the Citadel who produces these. They're made from metals from each council homeworld. Each metal compounds with the last, 
making the rings stronger. He calls them victory rings. Due to material shortages, only a few exist. Oh, that's super cool. Rare is nice. Unique is better. Are you valuing me? Of course. It's the thought that counts. And you had a good one. I have heard that expression. That's why I recorded a resonance map of my quantum bit arrays when I had the idea. If you read my extensive log files and extrapolate from my nitrogen vacancy centers, you can visualize the thought precisely. That's a long way for a joke, Edie. <laughs> Did I have you for a few seconds there? A little bit. Not even close. Oh, okay. Who's next? I was thinking of something for Liara. This is nice. Oh, and that was it. Okay. Uh, I have to go find where Jack went, because I got emails for that, didn't I? Also, Jack is out there, and... Who else was out there? Liara. I have to leave before I can call her, huh? Uh, oh, Cortez met some old friends. Oh, no, this is old. Yeah. Uh... Drinks from Garrus. Javik. Uh, Silver Sun Strip. Outside the casino. I totally didn't see him. Jack is at the sim. Uh. Not that one. Talia came. Miranda came. James came. Edie came. I met Trainer. Jack. I met Garrus. Javik. And I have to be able to call Liara at some point, but I cannot. So, let's go find Javik and Jack. I'll be back, Glyph. Don't throw any crazy parties without me. That is not a suggestion. You know, I probably shouldn't have said anything. Glyph might do something, and that scares me. Alright, Javik said he was outside the casino. I am surprised that there's less silver than expected, though, all things considered. So, Javik does have a, a point. It's not a hyper-valid point, but it is a point. Uh, he said he was out here, is he upstairs? Aha, he'll be here. Enjoying your shore leave, Javik? I have been asked to take part in a feat. What? I am told it is a great honor and will boost morale for the war. Who says it will? <sighs> Commander Shepard! I didn't realize you were coming too! Perfect timing, perfect timing. You can play yourself. What? Attention! The Prothean is on set! Someone tell the stunt double he's been demoted. We have the real Shepard now. Oh, poor Our guy. Places, everyone. Quickly, quickly! You the backdrop! What are we even doing? I haven't gotten a script or anything. And action. Commander Shepard, thank you for coming. The urgent hour of doom, which we all urgently face, draws near. Urgently so. But there is hope. The Council understands you recently found a Prothean in a refrigerator and defrosted him. Uh, yes. <laughs> who, who wrote the script? So are you guys just making this up, or what? Of course not. A writer wrote it, so it must be true. That's not how that works. Ah, you die now! Oh, good. Not yet. That line comes later. <laughs> the Vorcha Counselor will kindly refrain from further interruptions. I believe I have been misinformed about the purpose of this feat. Yeah, I haven't been informed at all. Oh, wise Prothean Elder. What wisdom of the ages can you share with us? Solarian kidney is best served at room temperature. <laughs> it is even better when the Solarian is still alive. The fear adds spice. Protean, no light. I don't know if it's a joke or if he's... Did someone say Protean? Blasto! This one is familiar with enkindling. This one has enkindled multiple females across the galaxy. Oh my god. Blasto, about time you showed up. The galaxy is under attack by Reapers. If only someone had warned us about them years ago. This one cried. 
This one was ignored. This one's efforts fell on obstructed auditory. Uh, actually, that was me. Sovereign, Saren, you might have heard of them. Yes, and Blasto here destroyed half the Citadel, putting them down. But even he's just one. No, that was still me. And now we've asked Commander Shepard and his Prothean partner here to assist. This one did not read that far into the script. This one does not share top billing. Wait, what? But it's Blasto 7. Blasto goes to war. Think of the children. Oh my god, this is a Blasto movie. In my cycle, your kind were nothing more than appetizers. Would you prefer to be boiled or fried? Oh my god, Javit, calm down. Oh dear, no like you. <laughs> this is Vorcha. This one has found his motivation. Very well. Commander Shepard and Prothean partner of undetermined ethnic origin. Welcome to the Spectre Club. I, I am a Spectre though. Also, he's not unknown, he's a Prothean. I've been in the club for three years now. Correct. But you are not an Ultra Spectre Elite 4000 Deluxe. This one is a 7000. This one has less recoil and faster load time. Where is the airlock so I may throw you out of here? Javik, you in the airlocks. Prop for that? They cue the sound effects. Change the backdrop. Oh my god. It's oh my god. And he's looking for some payback. Who wrote this? Cue the stunt double. This one is the hero of the Citadel. This one has an incendiary projectile with the counselor's name on it. Not this one is the hero of the Citadel. Oh my I god. Fighting for the hero position. This one insists. No. This one doesn't care. Javik. This one wishes he was still frozen in the refrigerator. <laughs> He's even playing along somehow. Here we go now, Commander. Strike the set. Hellcasting will need a new Vorcha. Prepare for Blasto 8. Blasto cures the genophage. That was still me! Oh my god, that was amazing. That's also funny because Blasto, as a Hanar voiced by Mark Mir, is still voiced by Shepard. So that's, uh... That happened. Who are you? <gasps> are you... Are you Boobin? Oh, you're a free agent. If you know any good agents, please send them my way. I don't make any promises. Now, uh, let's get to the sim and meet up with Jack. Real difficulty, of course, will be getting the pie jack to perform. Pie jack? I don't recall there being pie jacks in Macbeth. Unless they lived in Burnham Wood. Did pie jacks come to Dunsany? I added the pie jack in. He will view events with an animal innocence uncorrupted by ambition. I can't believe no one's thought of that before. It's brilliant. Pretty sure there's why people haven't thought of it. Huh, that's the street right there. Oh, that is hyper fatal. Is this safe? I mm feel hey, how are you? Looking forward to tomorrow. Of course I remember. Oh, it's you. I thought you could meet me down on the strip. We'd go from there. Anything you want to do, just name it. You want to go where? There's so many conversations going on. I just want to talk to my friends, though. Jack, where are you? Or rather, where's the spot I wait for you? Whoa, that loaded in such a weird angle. I'm like, why is this guy tiny? He's not, he's normal sized. Jack! Aha! We gonna go blast things? We can go blast things. I like blasting things a lot. Hey, glad you can make it. I've got us set up. Sweet! Oh, we're actually gonna go in. Okay. Subject zero. Recharge speed of, uh, bonus of all powers, or durability, we'll go durability. Weapon damage, power damage. 
squad bonus or recharge speed. Uh, increased recharge speed of all squad made biotic powers. Oh, that probably doesn't even apply to me. No, we'll uh, have you go real fast. That said, oh, you have warp now. Oh my god, you have warp now. That fixes like everything. Like you not having warp was such a huge disadvantage in two. Uh, you can set up combo detonations because you have pull. Lasting damage or expose. Increase weapon damage. Oh, that's your, that's debuff versus uh, more damage. Uh, we're gonna... Mm... Since you're NPC party member, we're gonna go damage. Pierce or recharge. Uh, we'll go pierce on that one. Uh, warp ammo for you is probably pretty good. You don't need squad bonus because I have it. So just up the bonus damage there. Uh, throw pull here for radius, just in case we get more people stuck in it. Inflict 20 damage per second to lift targets. Oh, so it becomes like a force choke. Or increase damage to all targets. They have to be, they have no armor or shields when they're, uh, lifted. So they're going to die like immediately anyway by an explosion. So we'll just go bonus damage in the meantime. Uh, double pull is the way to go. Even your pull has a really short three second recharge, so there's no need to like drop that even further. Uh, shockwave, force some damage, or radius. I actually feel like radius would be pretty nice for that. And then increase force and damage by detonations. Okay, so shockwave can detonate. Are you the only party member that has shockwave? No one else has shockwave in my team. The only biotics I have are Liara, Caden, and Javik, and none of them have Shockwave. Interesting. Uh, I'm still gonna go probably with- well, I don't know if I wanna go with Warp Ammo. No, cause rank 5 for Warp Ammo is useless for you, and I can't get to 6. So, Shockwave it is. Let's go with Detonate. Alright. I didn't get to choose your weapons. Oh my god, I know this arena. This was the art at Yakshi Monastery. Are they spawning in? You ready, Jack? Four, three, two, one. Starting round one. What are we fighting against? Cerberus. You know, that makes sense. I forgot to turn these on. Where am I? Whoa! Uh, try again. I didn't know what happened to my buttons. Like, I was trying to hit them, it just wasn't happening. Night in the Arena. Also, let me start off by... Putting... It's annoying that my armor comes back, but warp ammo doesn't. Oh, warp ammo's on. Good. Alright. This is rough because my partner is Jack. <laughs> also, Jack has no dialogue for this, really? There we go, there's something. Okay, so Shockwave can rip off our enemy shields. That's cool. Down, get down. Jack, can you? That's what I wanted. Three. 
rips off their shields. That's super nice. Uh, I will actually hit him. And you can blow him up. There we go. I just need to not be a super idiot. Jack, where's your AI? Why are you just standing there? Can you... Uh, do that. Whoopsies. Get in cover. Hi there. Jack, why? Oh, because you're not in cover. That's that's on me. Please pick up Jack. Uh pull him, would you? Zap. Blast. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? There he is. Hit him. Got a spawning right here, huh? Jack, who's shooting at? Is a nemesis over there? Oh my god! I wanted to hit Overload, but I just ran up and blasted them. That'll work. Reload. Ooh. I'm gonna beat you until candy comes out. Is there candy in there? I want candy. Can we get candy? Damn, it's nice to relax. This is relaxing. I died like six times. Ah, you like the kids. It's worth the stress to watch the people you're commanding come into their own, though. Shut up. Who said I was talking about you? <laughs> oh, good. Cutscene Jack can still take out Max when she normally couldn't in a uh, two. You know, if there is a god, that's what she sounds like. Just a big, deep boom. To let you know everything's gonna be okay. Thanks for coming, Shepard. Yeah, I like the sound of that. Wouldn't have missed it. Very good. I'm glad I didn't die like eight times before we got to handle that. That was fun. All right. Was there anyone else around? Apparently a lot. <laughs> you sell model ships. Oh, man. All right. Anyone else in the uh, casino? Let's go check real quick. That's not the casino. The casino's over here. Yeah, that arena's fun when Jack is functioning. Alright. This is not the casino. This is the arcade. <laughs> I don't want to be here again. I already have trauma from the thing crashing. I can't believe it sent me back that far. This is the casino. Anybody in here I should know about? Upstairs? Downstairs? I don't want to play more Quasar. I wasted too much time on that already. Nobody? Ooh, wait. Wait for who? Joker. Here when Cerberus attacked, and I don't remember seeing you. I mean, he was here. I think I caught a glimpse of Commander Shepard fighting over by the elevator bay, though. Well, yeah, Shepard was protecting the council, but I had my own problems to deal with. You don't believe him? See, I was down by the docking bay near C-Sec headquarters. 
I mean, I fought for this. Commander Shepard is chasing the council. This is our chance. Oh shit, Cerberus. Ha ha ha! It's Joker. He can barely walk. How's he going to stop us? Do they know him personally? Oh my god, Joker, really? Like this. Joker, really? It's joking time. I can't believe he just said that. Oh, we were fools to underestimate Joker. Oh no! <laughs> yes, you were. Joker, please. Joker, please. Joker, what is that line? And that's pretty much how it happened. Which is why you should comp my drinks. You know what? That's canon. That's what I, that's exactly what happened. No. Yes. Oh, come on. I barely believe what they're saying about Shepard. You? I don't think so. No, no. That's what happened. It's true. Okay. Trying not to be offended there. Look, if Shepard were here. Uh, Shepard. Hi. Listen. That's exactly what happened. No ifs, ands, or buts. It's joking time. I'm Commander Shepard, and I'll vouch for my pilot. Jeff Moreau is a hero. Everyone in this room owes him their lives, myself included. This is true. I'm so sorry, Commander. I had no idea. Drinks are on me, Lieutenant. Ah. Uh, thanks, Commander. You can pay me back later. <laughs> Oh, uh, that was awesome. That was, that's the best. Joker, you're great. Awesome. Let's head back to the apartment. But first. Yeah. Still really bad at it. Yeah. This is not the way to go. Also, I'm not mingling anymore, so you can put away the, the tooltip. Oh, more about the patriarch? Is it beyond? How could you possibly not know? I don't know. Maybe because he's not ruling now. That is a meaningless detail. Patriarch's story transcends time. All right, have fun with that. Oh, I don't care about roulette. I'm only ever behind a table in the middle of this Asari monastery. Zion on my right side, pinning me down. Abominations coming into the room on my left. Oh, that's brutal. I remember when we thought the Reapers had the toughest ground troops. Good times. Oh, you multiplayer people. This is not the way down, is it? I try to let loose with a concussive shot, but I'm covered in those bees, the swarmers. Everything's overloaded. And then this huge biotic explosion rips through the scion and saves my ass. Sorry? Folus. <laughs> Ouch. The biotic god! The Bionic God lives and he's fighting! He's doing awesome explosions and saving lives! Oh, I'm back in here again. I'm not touching the crane, I'm especially not crud touching punch clicker there. I cannot believe the game crashed. I've played this game for like, and I mean like Legendary Edition, for like, what, 200 hours now? It, I don't think it's actually 200 hours, but it's a lot. It's approaching 200. And that's the first time the game itself has crashed, and not OBS. For the record, I may have fixed those OBS problems, so... Things may be good. You have anything to sell? I'm not buying that. What am I doing? Uh, let's get the amber accent wall. Get that coffee table. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna grab the recliner. I don't know if the simple bedding is better or not. Grab it. Alright. Back home. You have received a new message. I have new messages. I thought so. Let's see who's waiting on us. Or just me, I guess. 
Also, I need to put in my new bed. Standard bedding versus... Honestly, both of those look really bad, but I think I'm going to go with the simple bedding. Uh, seating. Standard armchair, basic recliner. The basic recliner actually ends up looking better. At least nicer. Really shouldn't kick me out every time, though. Actually, the striped coffee table looks nicer. Not a fan of the, the light coffee table. And then... Amber accent wall. There we go. Alright, who's calling? All work and no play for Steve! Shepard, now that I've got a little downtime on the Citadel, I wanted to share something with you. I'm taking the shuttle down to Silver Sun Strip. Meet me there. From Jacob! Shepard, to the Normandies in Dry Dock? Seems like the perfect chance to hang out and find some trouble. I don't want trouble, man. Meet me outside the arcade on the main level, if you're game. That's a lame joke. Memorial service. From Koliat. Oh, Koliat. Right, Thane can't be here, but you can. Commander, I was somewhat surprised to receive a calm co uh, call from the Council. They like to hold what humans call a memorial service. Where it is held does not matter so much as who attends. I would like you to be there, as well as those people in the Normandy who knew my father. I understand that human services, people speak well of the dead. It seems appropriate for you to conduct this part as the commander of the Normandy. To be honest, I am somewhat nervous I might recall an inappropriate memory in front of everyone. Thank you, this would mean a great deal to me. I'll be there, Kolyat. From Liara! Thought it might be nice to spend some time away from the Normandy. I don't have anything in particular in mind. Perhaps we can meet at your apartment and decide from there. Oh, was the other Liara message from previous? Let's go and be normal people from Caden! You know what, Shepard? You need a night where you just get to hang out and try to be normal for a few hours. Let's get something to eat. After that, we can go down to the strip for whatever you want. Let me know. That sounds great. I'm gonna meet up with them. And, uh, yeah. So, I'll get ready for that. I should go.